the Western media's and government's complicity in the Zionist genocide of Palestine. The Western media's and government's complicity in the Zionist genocide of Palestine is a crime against humanity. For decades, the Western media has whitewashed Israel's crimes and demonized Palestinians, while Western governments have provided Israel with billions of dollars in military aid and vetoed countless UN resolutions that would have held it accountable. The Western media's coverage of the war in Palestine is a prime example of its bias. The media has focused on Israeli casualties and property damage, while largely ignoring the plight of Palestinians. It has also used inflammatory language and imagery to portray Palestinians as terrorists and justify Israeli violence. For example, a 2014 study by the Media Tenor Center found that Israeli deaths received 12 times more coverage than Palestinian deaths in the New York Times, Washington Post, and Los Angeles Times. The study also found that the word, terrorist, was used to describe Palestinians 11 times more often than it was used to describe Israelis. The Western media's bias is not limited to its coverage of the war. It has also whitewashed Israel's history of colonialism and ethnic cleansing. For example, the media rarely mentions the Nakba, the expulsion of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians from their homes in 1948. The Western media's bias is not only harmful to Palestinians, but it is also harmful to democracy itself. A free and independent press is essential for holding governments accountable. However, when the media is biased, it cannot play this role effectively. Western governments are also complicit in the Zionist genocide of Palestine. The United States is the largest military donor to Israel providing it with billions of dollars in aid each year. The U.S. has also vetoed numerous U.N. resolutions that were critical of Israel. Other Western governments, such as the United Kingdom and France, also provide Israel with military aid and political support. They have also blocked efforts to hold Israel accountable for its human rights abuses. The Western government's support for Israel is not only morally wrong, but it is also counterproductive. It has only served to prolong the conflict and fuel more violence. In order to achieve a just and lasting peace in Palestine, it is essential that the Western media and governments cease their support for Israel. The media must report on the conflict accurately and hold Israel accountable for its crimes. Western governments must also end their military aid to Israel and support efforts to bring it to justice. A stronger critique. The Western media's and government's complicity in the Zionist genocide of Palestine is not only a crime against humanity, but it is also a betrayal of the values that they claim to uphold. The Western media claims to be a champion of democracy and human rights. However, its coverage of the war in Palestine is anything but democratic or human rights oriented. The media has whitewashed Israel's crimes and demonized Palestinians, while ignoring the root causes of the conflict, such as the Israeli occupation of Palestinian territory and the illegal blockade of Gaza. Western governments also claim to be champions of democracy and human rights. However, their support for Israel is a mockery of these values. Israel is a rogue state that has repeatedly violated international law and committed war crimes. Yet, Western governments continue to provide it with military aid and political support. The Western media's and government's complicity in the Zionist genocide of Palestine is a disgrace. It is essential that they cease their support for Israel and hold it accountable for its crimes. Otherwise, they will be complicit in the continued suffering of the Palestinian people.